Well, hello there. I've just stuck in my non-fancy lens for this intro because my other one, you just can't vlog with it. It's like right up your nose. So my Food Diary Friday video last week went down really well and I wanted to kind of keep it up for you guys because so many people left comments saying, I'd love if you did this every week, so I will, I heard you. Always give me feedback in the comments, guys, because I want this channel to be for you and I want to make the kind of videos that you want to see. So this is just a brief little intro. Basically today I'm filming my food again. And these videos will always have to be filmed like on a Thursday because there's no way I could like film it and edit and upload on a Friday because my internet speed is crap. It takes a while to render the video and edit, etc. And just at the start of this really quickly, I just wanna let you guys know that obviously I'm not trying to lose weight. This is just what I eat to maintain and keep my health. If you want me to do a video about how I actually lost weight, because I lost 60 pounds, um, in the past I gained 20 back and I've been around the same weight for like a year and a half or something like that since I recovered from the eating problems I haven't like gone up and down because I gave up counting things and weighing things and dieting and all that kind of stuff now I have said it before in videos but I just listen to my body and I eat what I want pretty much a lot of what I want is whole foods and a lot of what I want isn't so. These food diaries are always going to be very balanced and unrestrictive. I don't work out like a maniac right now anyway. I'm not on like a crazy workout routine. So yeah, you always gotta adjust your food to like your lifestyle and figure out your balance because what's right for me isn't gonna be right for you. But I just wanna mainly give you inspiration for different foods to try because I eat a lot of different things. I never stick to the same routine I eat different meals all the time unless I get obsessed with something like this week it was pancakes thanks pancake day enjoy good morning guys so I'm just after having my water and my supplements like I showed you last week and now I can't decide between having porridge with a banana and almond milk or an omelette with some leftover veggies from our dinner last night I don't know because we have toast as well so I could have that too I don't know whether I want savoury or sweet. It's a weird morning. Okay, we also have cashew butter here, so I think I know what to do. So I'm sitting in at my desk for a breakfast this morning. So oddly enough, this is what we're going with. I have like a savoury kind of breakfast option first, which is a scrambled egg, an organic egg with salt and pepper on a piece of oatmeal and linseed toast and there's grass-fed butter on that. A friend of mine who has a post-grad in nutrition told me that butter is actually not bad at all so I do eat it the odd time. There's a lot of hate out there against natural fats guys and I just don't listen to any of it so that's all my salad underneath and then I have a dessert for my breakfast. <laughs> A girl needs her dessert and uh, this is another piece of that toast with some nut butter so it's cashew butter chopped banana half a banana and some cinnamon and that's one of my favorite foods in general just like nut butters with banana and toast it's so good dying to have this now i'm gonna have the second piece with a cup of tea a cup on tea or actually i think i can hear shane making coffee so i might go with coffee so in the meantime i've been out for a walk and i'm still here like doing emails and editing and stuff like that and I'm having something to tide me over until lunch. So I'm having a sushi snack pack from Marks and Spencer's. These are only 150 and they're really, really nice. I love sushi. I used to hate it. I even the word sushi used to turn my stomach. But I swear to God, if you've not tried it and you do, you know, like rice and fish and, you know, kind of Asian flavours, you'll definitely be into it. I have my Sex in the City box set on to watch some with lunch. I love watching an episode of that while I'm eating. Got my little bonsai tree there. He loves a bit of Sex in the City himself, don't you? Since Pancake Tuesday, I've been eating pancakes obsessively all week, like this exact same thing. I can't get enough of it. So we've got some bacon there, local bacon, has to be done. And these are wholemeal pancakes and we made them with wholemeal flour, eggs, soya milk and a bit of salt and then you know fried them like normal pancakes well not fried just made pancakes and one is topped with a little bit of nutella i could not not have nutella on pancake day and i put some little bits of banana on there and then the other one has maple syrup and raspberries and a dollop of greek yogurt and i am going to mill this right now i swear i want to smash my face into it i had it yesterday and the day before and it's so good so we've laid out everything that's going to be put into the dinner and i'm going to talk you through all these now because it's a lot to take in so my boyfriend lovingly cut up the onions and the garlic which are the base of what this chili concoction is going to be and then what did you put up mash up in there baby 
Pest pestle and mortar. That's a marinade for the chicken, garlic. Not all those spices right there. <laughs> oh yeah, there and we go. In, in, well. Oh, did you just mash these up? Okay, so guys, it's all these bad boys here are mashed up with in the pestle and mortar two of garlic. with garlic and olive oil and salt olive pepper. oil, <laughs> salt and, that's and pepper. Be then put over that chicken. Lovely. So that's we've got our free range chicken breasts there, and we have sweet potato. Then there's going to be some cherry tomatoes, some stock, some dark chocolate, a pepper, some kidney beans and some tomatoes. And all of this is going to be delicious. I'll show you the finished product now in a mo. So we're just going to marinate the chicken breasts in the marinade now and leave it for a couple of hours in the fridge. And that basically makes your meat taste an awful lot nicer. So definitely marinate things. It's just makes kind of healthy food and high protein food taste so much better and makes it easy. What is the dirt of this oven? <laughs> Holy lordy. <laughs> okay, so this is how you melt the chocolate into the chili. So go ahead, Shane, demonstrate. You put, put the in. cubes. Do you? Yeah, mental. <laughs> mental stuff, mental. Yeah, basically you just kind of let it eventually dissolve itself in the heat of the stock and the water. Mm. And then spread it out once it starts probably melting. Like don't push that down to the bottom. What if I want to? What are you gonna do? But then it won't you don't know if it's cooked. You'll get a mouthful of it. That'd be so gross. Pretty. The finished product is looking beautiful and I just tasted this and I nearly died. It's so nice. So this is mine plated up. Um it looks like a pig pile of mulch now, don't get me wrong, but it has chicken and sweet potato and the beans and all those other ingredients in there and it's been cooking down for like two hours maybe. Yeah. So it just tastes unbelievable. We've got manged tail peas there on the side just to throw in some greens because um, I need to kind of up my vegetables definitely. But yeah, can't wait to eat this loveliness. <laughs> so that's the end of our video. We're just going to play some computer games now. Going to play Nintendo 64? Super Nintendo? Bit of both. No, know. pick one. Pick your favy. Not playing both with you. Super Nintendo. Which is a deal. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And this lovely cook um, is making me a dessert tonight because we're absolutely stuffed. I'm so full from the lunch. Even not yeah, even from the dinner, fun. just the lunch. It was so good.